is Pale Horse and a Random African Podcast. We may offend you. You've been warned. All right, so uh, Trump orders toilet review. What? Yeah. What does that even mean? Uh, yeah, uh, here you go. Everybody can't afford a gold toilet like oh, him. Oh, no, no, not that. No, that's all I'm reviewing. Gold. I want one. I want a gold toilet. Hold, uh, hold on. Trump, Trump orders toilet review. Americans are flushing toilets 10 to 15 times more. How the hell does he know that? What study that they do? Uh, li- listen. This is, I'm going to read you this, and then we're going to talk about it. I am so worked up. You know how I feel about poops. This is touching home to me. I am worked up. Got all the stuff going on in the world. He's talking exactly. about Exactly. That's, that's why that's why I even clicked on this <laughs> that to is, read it. Okay. Because I was like, why is our president worried about how many times I flushed it? Yeah. All right, go ahead. Right, so, so President Donald Trump said he wants a nationwide review of water efficiency standards because of issues with sinks and showers and other elements of bathrooms across the country. So this is this is what he said. People are flushing toilets 10 times to 15 times as opposed to once. They end up using more water so the environmental protection agency is looking into this because he says something about it i've never even like, heard of those people. never even heard of this the, yeah anyways this it goes on we're in a situation where looking very strongly at sinks and showers and other elements of bathrooms where well, you turn the faucet on in areas where there's tremendous amounts of water where it rushes out to sea because you could never handle it i don't know if that's his exact sentence but that's what that's what it says word for word. So Trump said that, said they're looking at up the standards of water saving regulations, noting that there may be some areas where all all go the other route, desert areas. But for the most part, you you have many states where they have so much water that it comes down. It's called rain. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's what he said. It's called rain. Oh my goodness. So. Pretty much, they're they're talking about uh, we flush the toilet too much. Yeah, probably. But I thought it was funny that in a meeting at the White House, they're talking about how many times people flush toilets and that we're flushing toilets too much, we're wasting water. I mean, yeah, we are wasting water, but I don't feel like that needs to be making it there. There's so many other pressing national security issues, and they're talking about flushing toilets. So I, that's why I brought this up because if you read read that little bit. And you read the subject or the title of it, it sounds like the government is being a bunch of idiots and not focusing on what they need to focus on. Mm-hmm. You know, because you're like, why Why are we talking about how many times people flush toilets? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so so then, I, so looking at that, I looked up the global water statistics. Yeah, probably not looking so, good. So global water statistics, at least 1.8 billion people globally use a... Uh, contaminated mm. drinking source. That's comforting. 1.8 billion, bro. That's a lot. There's only how many billion people? That is a huge group of people. That's big. Like, it's, I think what we got, like 8 billion on the planet or just under 8? Probably over 8 now. Said, yeah, babies are being born a lot. That's a lot of people. But how do they define contaminated, like, what would you say, drinking water source or water yeah, source? Drink, drinking source. So the water they're drinking is contaminated. Where do they consider contamination or how do they define that? Does it say? No, it does not say, but that is a huge amount of people yeah. drinking dirty water. That is a lot. And, you know, surprisingly, I bet that is not, I bet some of those are first world countries. Like we had a situation like that just in, uh, what was it, Michigan not too long ago, Detroit? I forget where it was at, but where they had all that lead in the water, remember? Yeah. And, it's crazy. and so water shortage affects more than 40% of the world's people. 40. Huh. And and this figure is projected to rise. So it's 40% of the world people is affected by water shortage. And this projection is, is going to go up because, it's, you know, water is getting less and less and less. Yeah. This, this is drinking water that the government is worried about water shortage and like uh pretty much you don't i guess i i, I don't ever think about it yeah that's the problem is a lot of us don't think yeah about you it. don't think about it like uh like, until uh, it's too late you know it could fix it though but they'll never do it is if all it would take i think is one city to start it and then they would get good results and and then other people would implement it is if you somehow like forced everyone to recycle so that could happen one of two ways. You could either, like, you know, 
provide them the recycling bin and then like fine them if they're not using it, which probably wouldn't go over too well. Or what recycle you recycle bin for water? No, like for resources, because I'm sure if we were because it takes water to make all this other stuff. Like oh. it takes water to make plastic, it takes water to make all these other things that we use. So if you just keep reusing it, you'll cut down water usage. So you would save water in other areas. That's true. So if you so, just force everybody to recycle or like got more manpower at the waste facilities and just sift it through the trash to recycle, which sounds disgusting. Yeah. Trump did say that they're looking at opening the standard of water saving regulations. The EPA website states every drop counts because water managers in at least 40 states expect local, statewide, and regional water sh shortages to occur over the next several years. Yeah. Yeah, so that's why Donald Trump's making comments about how many times you flush your toilet. Now, think if the government, if the government starts really getting into restricting your water, like everybody's water, even if you're not in one of these areas, and they put a counter on your toilet, how many times you're allowed to flush it every oh, day? You know, some prisons do that. Some institutions. No, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about in your house. In, in your house. I feel like some people that wouldn't go over very well. Yeah, especially definitely people would not with, go over well. Especially people with kids, because some kids just get off on flushing the toilet. They just like yeah. seeing it. Or think if they put a timer on your shower, how long you were allowed to take a shower. Oh, that wouldn't work for a lot of people. Some people, because some people are like, uh, they need a shower chair. So it takes them a lot longer to uh, shower than it would like a able-bodied person. Yeah, yeah. I don't, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. But then again, what makes me concerned is how do people know how many times I'm flushing my toilet? It's like where did they get this from? Are they no, got this, toilet? Do they got they, toilet they, spies? No, out they there? did not get a that stat from anybody. He just said that. I think he just said that off the top of his but head. But he just knows we're flushing it 15 times more. He doesn't know. I think he just said. He's just like just making up random numbers. Like, all right, yeah, we... I, think, I think, honestly, I think he just made up random 10, 10 times, 15 times. I think I think he, he just made those numbers up. Yeah, I'm going to make up some numbers. numbers. I'm going to give a press conference and be like, all right, everybody, recent studies have shown due to air pollution, the sky is falling. Right. Chicken little. Calm it down. Calm it down. Sky's falling, everybody. 15 so, times faster. So do you think there's not a water shortage? No, I know there's a water shortage. Okay, we talked yeah, about so it don't, before. Don't, so don't make light of it if you actually believe in it because then people think you don't believe no, it. No, it's totally a water shortage. I just feel like... So do you think that the government should go into that that dramatic of, of like, hey, we or should they start with big companies first? Yes and no. I feel like they need to take dramatic steps, but they shouldn't go with, they shouldn't attack the people right off the bat because there's other companies that could tighten up their production methods to save water. So you should start with the big tycoons first and then save the people as the last resort. And I say that because we live in a world now where people like to just resist for the sake of resisting if you do that for a good reason you know put a counter on people's toilets and make it mandatory you'll have some new dumb group that's talking about fi it's my right to flush and all this <laughs> other crap you'll have people fighting <laughs> just to fight because you know that's so we live it's so true man people would be like it's my choice to flush you know that is, that they would fight true. just to fight and i'm, I'm not, like i'm not we're we're not saying the government is not uh saying that they're gonna do that we're just uh we're, we're just throwing out a, a what if brainstorming. I feel like uh, uh, they should attack the companies, like force companies to, you know, tighten up their production methods. You know, force companies to recycle things. Maybe if you make the companies, like take Coca Cola for instance. I was watching on Explained about the water shortage and it said how much water it takes to make yeah. a plastic bottle and then how much water it takes to make Coca Cola. So if you make those multi-billion-dollar companies provide recycling bins all over town to encourage people to do that you know recycling bins made from recycled or, plastic or you have stuff. to handle a bottle in to get a bottle something like that i mean there, you, there's yeah. there's so many other options you can do opposed to just putting counters on people's toilets right out the gate because if that's how you start off it's only going to get way they're not going to put counters on people's toilets no i'm just saying like that like there's other you options act like, 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 see i just said it because Trump just made that 
comment i think uh, i think yesterday or so and and you automatically turned it into that that piece of shit better not be talking about flesh. <laughs> no like it's like it's you automatically like oh, they better start with the cold <laughs> cold because they put no counter on my on my my toilet no like nobody, ain't nobody count my flesh. like you know i wouldn't I actually i actually do that now believe it or not I, i've been trying to employ when i can remember that if it's yellow let it mellow like so, sometimes I'll I'll pee like three times before I flush. But if it's brown, I flush it down. So like you know, for some people that will work, but it's not for a lot of people that's not going to work because some people are all jacked up. But I think my, they. My my thing is shower time. Oh, man, I love my showers. What if you take that's like? What, that's what I'm saying. Like I like I like a long. Yeah, time. you know you got to get it. So I think if they went after different things like uh like went after corporations or started. I seen this in a city. What city was I in? I think I was driving to your house before you moved, and I don't know what city it was, but they had a super big field, field with freaking solar panels, like, to yeah. help power the city. Why don't more places do that? A lot of places do that. Like, uh, we fa- we passed, like, Florida has thousands of acres of those. That's good. Like, you know, do some stuff like that and also have, like, find a way to, to make, like, a, a city rain collector. To where you know I've seen some people live off of you know they have something outside their house they rain collect and it filters so make something like that for a city to where it collects rain or whatever and they can use it for the city or send it to other places I mean there's there's yeah it does need attention it totally well, needs and attention. I think that a, a lot of people are uneducated on it yeah they're dumb because you're when they say water shortage people are like oh it rains all the time or uh, our climate you say the oceans are coming up. But uh, we're we're shortage of water. Yeah, they don't know. Like that's not what they're talking. They're talking about fresh drinking water, which is less than one percent left. It is in the world. The whole world, yeah. One you know, percent. Because people look that at the world insane. and they're like, oh, we're like you know m- more than half percent water. But if you look at water that we can drink, fresh water, it's one percent. Well, yeah, well, no, it's two percent, and then of the water that's available to drink is less than one because the rest of it is frozen. Oh, yeah, yeah, if you're right on that. Like frozen, right yeah. So, like, people, they just need to do, like, like me, I was watching the, the thing on Netflix about it. It totally needs attention, but like you said, out of sight, out of mind, people don't look into it, and then they I don't guarantee know. that 1.8 billion drinking contaminated water, they're worried about it. Well, I don't get, yeah, they're probably super worried about it. That is unbelievable that I, did, I knew there was, you know, you see it on TV, all obviously, uh, what money for, you know, fresh water, all this stuff, but 1.8 billion people have contaminated water, that's unbelievable believable to me when i read that i did not uh, uh, a million maybe like that's like continents of people yeah yeah like whole yeah. continents like what's the population of uh, of the u.s do you know ballpark it's not even close hold on i hold guess on. we could look it up we got like whole we got the world in our pocket yeah but we only look up social media yeah, get that up. Because I got something pulled up I'm going to bring up at the end of the show. This is how crazy this is. So, 1.8 billion people globally have contaminated water. So there's only 327 million people in the United really? States. Yeah. The whole country. The whole continent of the U.S. That's all there is. <laughs> so, you got to think, if, if this was in our realm of the world... Or 1.8 billion people out of or with contaminated drinking water is more than Canada, the United States, and Mexico. It's like this whole continent. Yeah, like think of that. If the U.S., Canada, and Mexico all had contaminated drinking water, and that wouldn't be enough people. No, still wouldn't be enough. That's ridiculous. That wouldn't even be close. That wouldn't even be half. And what's jacked up is the people that's experiencing that. Probably more more than half of them did not bring it on themselves. It's not like those people's practices yeah they were born into it or other countries like like you know other big first world countries jacked up the water and so they're paying the benefits they're like reaping the benefits of that 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 shocked me when i read that but yeah like so donald trump talking about how many times you flush the toilet got me uh educated on water shortage it's totally fixable though it is fixable yeah which, but it like you said out of that, sight uh, out of mind and people want convenience yeah, even, fixing it will not be convenient i mean they're worried about united states because what they're the epa's website's not talking about other countries they're talking about the united states and they think that uh 40 states expected 
local, statewide, or regional water sh shortages to occur over the next several years. So it's going to start happening in the but United yeah, States. Yeah, that's yeah. Because if you look at uh, one of the things I was watching on the Explained on Netflix when they were talking about water, it's one of the one of the states they were talking about specifically was California, and it showed like a, for lack of a better word, a water ring on one of the rocks that one of the lakes ran and had dropped significantly and then they showed one of the lakes where people docked their boat and it looked like it dropped so far like that lake is almost empty and you know so i can totally believe that we're going to run out of everything like they're running out of water forest fires are always happening just burning up all the oxygen yeah. we're going to run out of everything yeah i mean water shortage, we can fix it though water shortage is a big it. deal and i think everybody should educate themselves on it and uh yeah, even though the, the headlines uh, made Trump look like an idiot. It, it makes sense. Uh, it makes sense of where what they were talking about. Because, uh, like, uh, for me to be yeah. over, uh, just searching news and stuff, I was just looking at the news and reading the news today. And for me to read the title, I'm like, why are, is our government wasting time worried about this? And then when you actually read what they're talking about and read what they're trying to fix, it actually makes perfect sense. You don't realize how much waste water will waste. No, yeah, it's true. It's a global problem. A lot of stuff we do needs water. And, believe it or not, a lot of our consumption takes water. Like, like our livestock uses way more water than we do as humans. Like, our crops and meat production, like, to feed the cows and the pigs and give them water and everything. Like, that's where a lot of water consumption goes. Because we're consuming way more meat than ever. Yeah, we're overpopulated. Yeah, with everything. And, and uh... And, and plus, Americans, uh, just talking about America, uh, said uh, we eat, overeat a lot. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so while it's, it could totally be fixed, bro, but yeah. it won't be convenient. People won't do it. But at the yeah. same time, I think that this could be what brings everybody together. I say that because an, an old president said it like a long time ago. He's super dead now. I forget who said it. Well, of course he's... <laughs> <laughs> He's super dead. Yeah, like a long time like ago. Like, he, he's not just dead. He's super yeah, dead. Yeah, he's super dead. He's half past yeah, dead. No disrespect to whatever president you're, you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, because what he said is really good. He said that, like, for everybody to come together, it would take an outside threat. Like, either a threat of extinction or a non-human threat to bring humans together because we just bicker among ourselves. So maybe if the threat of worldwide extinction, maybe that will bring us together. Because if we run out of water, then we're going to go extinct. You can survive way more without food than water. So maybe that will bring everyone. We'll get some unity there. And, and we have talked about this before where we think civil wars oh, and world wars will be caused over water. And I think that's like the next big threat. So, so educate yourself on on uh water sh shortages and uh how to how to you know how to save some water and before we, we finish this topic i want to ask you one question and get your thoughts on it and then if they were to sell reasonably priced but very functional home kits to convert your urine back to water would you purchase and use it like they do for the astronauts but like a more simple version for your home but still work would you do i would i tried i would, I would try it yeah i would try it uh, if, I mean, eventually it's good I, enough for the astronauts. It's good enough for me. Yeah, eventually you're probably going to get to that point, anyways. If we continue on the path that we're on, but uh, I would, I would definitely, uh, I would definitely try it. Yeah, because if you live a healthy lifestyle, you probably wouldn't even have to filter that much. Because some people peeing is pretty light anyway, so you probably get a lot out of it. Just keep drinking that water. Yeah. So yeah, I would try yeah. it. That was my question. So maybe it, they'll it, look into that. Yeah, if that's all you had left. Yeah. All right. Educate yourself. Water shortage. Water shortage, you know. Got to save that H2O. Hashtag thirsty life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we should put that in the video. Oh, Hashtag that's, thirsty that's life. That's going to be at the end, bro. That's a perfect <laughs> ending.